Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't been around. I have had such a headache for um, about the last three weeks. It's easing up the last couple days, but I've been about that close to a migraine. Couldn't concentrate to make videos and really haven't even um, been sitting on YouTube or anything. It just bothers the head, so you know, you kind of just leave that stuff alone. Uh, but I have tried to make this video like five times now. I don't know if that's telling me I shouldn't post it or if it's just giving me heck, but I'm going to try one last shot here because, as you can see, this is on my home computer. Um, anyway, um, what I have done is made oregano oil capsules. And oregano oil, number one, it's a very hot oil. So if you get it on your fingers, please remember water does not dilute oils. You have to um, use oil to dilute oil. But oregano oil, it is, um, I need my fingers because I know how the major properties, and I've got my hand up here. So it is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, antiparasitic, and an antioxidant. So with flu seasons and colds and all the ugly things that get in the tummy and, and all that, I want to go ahead and make sure and have a supply ready for the season that's coming on us because, you know, we're in the 30s where I live now and all that. Um, it really is good, though, for flus, colds, respiratory. Um, you can rub it on your skin as well. You do need to mix it with a carrier oil or take it internally as I'm going to show you to do. You guys know what medicines and things you're on where I don't. So please do a little research before you just go willy-nilly and start taking things because that's not safe to do that. As you know, I am not a doctor. I am making these for me. And um, so here is what you need. You're going to need coconut oil, oregano oil, and then um, some capsules. I buy these. Let's see if I can get these up there. And that size zero up there is what determines the size of the capsules. And so all you're going to do, I may have to come closer to my camera, so sorry if I move, not trying to make anybody dizzy. But here we go. This is what they look like. You're going to pop them open where you have the two parts. I was hoping my dark shirt would, um, there you go. I think those are there. And you're going to use a larger piece. 12 drops of coconut oil go in there. And I would say start with, uh, if you're not used to taking these, two to three drops of oregano oil in there. And then you're going to just close them back up. You will hear a little pop when you close them. Shake them up and get them in your refrigerator and you know how the coconut oil will solidify when it gets cold like in your cabinets and things like that too and really that's all there is to it it is better to use coconut because of the solidifying because with the olive oil and things it doesn't solidify like that and it can come leaking out the capsule and you saw the capsule is clear here is what it looks like when they're cold. You can see the coconut oil has solidified in there. It's starting to unsolidify because it's warm in my room here. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to put these in a jar and keep them in the refrigerator in a bottle, actually, that is uh, non-see-through. And when these ugly things try to come at you, you know all the issues we fight throughout the winter for flus and things. This is what I'm going to turn to. This is some of them that I have made. Because I have made a lot, I like I said, this is like, I think this is tray number six. Um, so take one. Um, for me, personally, I am going to take them like I would an antibiotic. Because really that's what they are. 
I'm not recommending anybody do the same. I think everybody needs to do a little bit of, of diligence and research on these things. It doesn't really take that long, and you can find some great places. They're having great success on oregano with Crohn's disease and all kinds of things. It's just really amazing. These things were put here for a reason and a purpose. These herbs and things that, that we look at and that people try to kill and all that good stuff, they're put here for a reason and a purpose, and they keep getting sent back even though we keep trying to wipe them out. So, um, you know, and keep these things in your diet. You really want to go for the oreganos and the thyme and all those kind of things in your diet because that will, you know, help your immune system fight that stuff off. Anyway, being uh, the properties that these things have. That's guys all about all I have for you today. I have a, a, a couple things in mind for another video, but a lot of it has just really been head dependent. So short, sweet, to the point. If you didn't know how to make these capsules, um, now you know. And do be careful when you um, get your essential oils because when they're genuine, they're also going to say the Latin name on the bottle. Whatever brand you choose to use is is absolutely your business. Make sure the Latin name is on there because you can buy essential oils that you think are essential oils and they might say like lavender and there is no Latin name there. Well, that's because it's actually lavender, different properties, you know. Be careful and be cautious. Choose wisely. You don't have to spend a hundred dollars to buy a bottle of good oil. That's just my prerogative. Um, but you can still find some good quality oils out there. So for anybody lacking, not knowing how to do this, there you go. Really simple, really easy. Um, if you're already used to or have bought these and decide you want to make them on your own, very simple to do. Just get you some of the capsules, coconut oil, oregano oil, and believe it or not, you can turn out like more than 30 within less than about 10, 15 minutes. So it's really simple and really easy to do. That's all I got for you today, guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.